There are dozens of different types of monsters in this world. There are those that will attack first and ask questions later, others that scurry under a bush at the first hint of a fight. Yes, even fearful creatures can still be deemed monsters. And then there were the tough guys, like I was dealing with right now. Put up your dukes. You can't pass me without a fight. Well, what are you waiting for? Four towering tree-like creatures stood in front of me. Arbor has, they were known as, and all four of them were dying to get into a punching match. The one on the right turned to the one on its left. He's afraid to fight. What did I tell you? I owe you one. I'll find you a root later to eat on. No, I want a peach from your stash. No way. The one on the far left pointed at me. Is he afraid? He looks afraid with his dark cloak on. And what's with his hair? It's so long, he looks like a girl. I rolled my eyes. This would have been amusing if I hadn't been in a hurry. Please, would the four of you just get out of the road? Look who's ordering us around. The little pipsqueak. They were tall, so in all fairness to them, I was short. The four were gray and looked exactly like trees, except they had grooves in the bark where two eyes were carved out a nose, and a mouth. They used their spindly branches like arms, and the first one kept pumping his up and down like he was angling for a fight. From behind me, a car door shut, and I heard the crunch of soles on bits of rock. This looks like it's trickier than you originally thought, Grim. Anything I can do to help? Paige came up beside me, her scent clouding the air making it hard to concentrate on a few arbor has, when what I really wanted to do was drag her to a secluded cabin, lock the door, and not emerge for two weeks. My heart drummed just looking at her, the delicate slope of her jaw, how the light reflected off her cheekbones, and how her dark eyes brightened when they were set on me. She smelled of cotton and vanilla, the scents curling around my head while I was trying to focus on keeping us alive. Come at me, Pipsqueak. I'll show you who's boss. She cleared her throat. What exactly is the problem? They don't want to move off the road. The four of them were completely blocking the path. We couldn't go any farther. Another car door shut, and I groaned. Great. There was an audience. Matt, my self-proclaimed sidekick, appeared, rubbing the back of his neck and grimacing. Well, Grim, looks like we're in a predicament now. Is this the only way to your sister's house? Yes, I growled. I'd already told him that. They look friendly enough. Matt touched my shoulder, and I glared at him. He quickly jerked back his hand. Maybe all they need is a little encouragement. Perhaps, deep down, the four of them want validation. 